and away they go from that 1300 meter marker jeans dancer not the best of starts from that one Saul Invictus though gone out well racing alongside that one then was Castle Hill Zeta is in behind those drop another length back to Little Venus that now leads the center of the party drop in behind that then Temple Run was down the center in behind Temple Run was Autumn J Sword of Truth also right up there then came Shari and the green jacket and cap in behind those then was uh, Montelupo towards the grandstand side and in behind Montelupo was uh, Maiturin as they approach now the 600 meter mark it's Sol Invictus on the extreme far side racing in behind that then was Castle Hill Sido has improved to come race among the early leaders and then drop another length back to Sword of Truth who's now moving forward in behind Sword of Truth is Little Venus who's shaken up now Temple Run also given a chance as they approach now the 300 meter mark it's a line of horses across the track on the far side of runners then was Castle Hill in behind that then was Sword of Truth drop another length back into Zeta and then flying in behind Behind those then was White Whisper who's on the grandstand side as they come up now to the final furlong. White Whisper hits the front and White Whisper will continue bowling on here for Corne Spies. White Whisper wins from back in second. That's Maiterin and pretty tight for third was could have gone to Autumn J on the near side or on the far side of those ones. Sword of Truth. Number 20 on your card, White Whisper, Francois Nodia will put this one home for Corne Spies. Congratulations to the Spies Yard and Mr. Quigley. Uh, this five-year-old mare out of Bivar will come and do the business in the lucky last year at Borodale Park. Second will go to the 13, Maiterin, and third to Autumn Jay.